she won't move. Because she's watching. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we start with fire, air, even the scent, water. Uh, I'm just going to take a sip of it. So welcome guys. Thank you so much for being here and for joining us. And yeah, an honor to guide your practice and mm -hmm. an honor to be present for each other. All that good stuff that that is why we're here. And here's okay, this is what we're gonna start with actually. So bring your hands together, lengthen yourself tall, and then gently settle into your seat, close your eyes. As we enter into this class, we'll just start with a little guided visualization. So I want you to imagine you are standing in front of the doors of the yoga studio. And you have your mat and whatever else you bring to class, you know what that is. You open the door and you enter into the space. And you can feel maybe the temperature of the air. If there was a smell, a feeling. And then walk yourself to the studio. And just feel how you feel. And then you enter the studio and pause at the door. And you look around and choose your spot or Maybe someone's in your spot and you have to choose a new spot. And as you walk into the studio, well, you've already taken your shoes off. As you walk in and you notice people around you getting themselves settled. Maybe there's one or two people lying over props, somebody else in downward dog. Somebody chatting with the teacher. And there's maybe some music playing. And candles are lit. You notice where the sun is at, if it's night, if it's day. And then you unroll your mat. Go and get your props. And settle down into your seat. Maybe you close your eyes just as you're doing now. And you listen to the sounds of the other yogis. You feel into the energy of those who are maybe just tired, those who are energized. And you feel this sense of community. And you've all entered into the space together, open to whatever is to come, honoring each other's practice without judgment and without any competition. You acknowledge that everyone there is just doing whatever it is they're doing at their own place in their own space. And there's a certain contentment in that, just knowing that we're all at different places on this path. You feel yourself smile as you settle. And the teacher welcomes you and opens the practice with three ohms. And so we begin with a nice big breath, lengthening tall. <clears throat> Exhale this breath, friends. Exhale. Inhale fully for first home.
chin as you honor all that is. We're going to turn to practice together by releasing our hands to our thighs, lift your chin, and then open your eyes. Okay. All right, we're going to start, um, we're going to start standing. Most of this practice, we're going to be lying down, just so you know, that's what's coming. But right now, we're going to start standing, and I'll bring the blocks up to the front, just we move into forward fold, you have them. And maybe put a blanket in the center of your mat as well. So we'll be moving to our knees in a moment. So just as you set up, and once you come to standing at the front of your mat, take a moment to look at your bare feet. If you've taken your socks off and just articulate your feet a little bit, move your feet in and out or up and down your toes, whatever. Just look at your feet, pump some blood into them, wake them up. And then as you are ready to settle, so take your time. Oh, I just lost my balance standing, okay. <laughs> We're gonna just spread the toes out as best as you can, whether they move or not, just look at them and will them to spread or spread them. And then just let your arms dangle by your sides. Align yourself as best as you can. Settle into your breath. So doing nothing really, just, just standing here. And then you know, just bringing your powers of observation into the soles of your feet and just take your mind through the sole of the right foot, the sole of the left foot. And notice if one foot's taking more weight, what do you need to do to bring equal weighting into the feet? That even might not just be the pressing through the legs, it might also be moving one hip forward, one hip back, or just kind of play with that and see if that changes things. And then anchor from your hips to your through your legs to your feet. Start to lift the lower belly up a little bit. Maybe draw the navel in slightly, bottom ribs in slightly. Take the shoulders, maybe up, back, and gently down, not pulling them, just anchoring. And then see if maybe you need to take your chin back a little bit and looking to bring more weight into the heels but still feeling the balls of the feet. So just be with all of that for a moment or two. There's work involved. And when you feel ready, you'll inhale, just sweep your arms out to the sides and just reach up. And take a few breaths here, staying with that same idea of aligning in some way. And one more inhale this time, reach up as high as you can. And exhale, open your arms, bring your hands to your blocks and the blocks can move forward if they need to. And just drop into this forward fold. Feel free to bend your knees though, this very first forward fold. So you, know, you can need to keep the head lifted a little bit, be there. And we're just gonna hang out here. So you might play with the distance between your feet. Maybe you'll be more comfortable widening. We're bringing them a little closer. And as you move into the forward fold and you find your place of uh, relative comfort that you can be here, just once again, bring the attention to the soles of the feet. And notice if they're equally weighted. Notice if you have more weight in the heels and more weight in the toes. And what, now we wanna find more equal. So the hips are gonna move maybe forward or back until you feel yourself equally weighted through the balls of the feet. And you can move your blocks, guys. Find that place. Okay, now we're here for just three more breaths. So just let that 
be like from the waist to the crown of the head is water. Water falling off and over your leg. Great. And then start to sit down more in your legs. Lift your head and your heart. And inhale, rise up through the power of your feet, legs. You can lift your arms up. You might feel a bit dizzy. I'm just going to bring the arms back down by the sides, maybe palms together through the midline. Just release your arms. And then just do nothing. Just feel for a moment. Take one more breath. Okay. And then inhale, sweep the arms out to the sides, maybe back a little bit and up. Stay here. Good. Okay, look up at your hand. And now we're going to take the right hand and you grab hold of your left wrist. And then we'll inhale and pull that left arm up. And now crescent over to the right. Okay, and then be here, a little bit of extension. And we're going to inhale, just come up. Don't release the hands because exhale, come back in. Let's do that one more time. So you inhale up and exhale. And then hang out here for one moment. Feel into the feet. Find some balance in your feet. Good. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, just release the arms by your sides. And just pause. One more breath. Inhale, take the arms out to the sides and up. Just stay here. As you inhale, you reach up. Left hand grabs right wrist, so the left palm's facing up. Inhale, press up with that arm, and then exhale, press into the left. And inhale up, and exhale back in. You can move slow, so you actually feel. Let's do one more up. And this time as you come over, notice, you know, the weight wants to go more maybe to the right side. Keep it even. Find the evenness in the feet. Find the joy in your heart, even if this is a lot. Inhale, come up. And exhale, release the arms. Just hang out for a breath or two. Feel the medicine. Good. And we're going to come back to forward fold. So inhale, sweep your arms up. And then exhale, bow over your legs. Bend your knees or straight legs, either one. There is a difference. And one of them is going to ground you a little more and keep you back a little um, safer. And then when you start straightening the legs, you might even fold in deeper. But it's just, just practice and presence. Feel into your feet, friends. Give one more breath here. Full breath in. Full breath out. Good. And then either with your blocks or hands on the floor, we're going to come back to downward facing dog. So I just put my blocks on their lowest height and they're on the mat. So they're not going to fly off. Um, just an arm extender. You might like it. We've been doing a little bit in class. And be here in your downward facing dog. And same principle. Just feel into the two legs, the feet. They equally weighted or is one side taking more okay at the same time as you're doing that if you feel the need to really move something do it okay i'm here for another two or three breaths i'm going to walk the feet back a little bit more than maybe i normally have them so if you feel the blocks are going to come out just get rid of them <laughs> pull them in a little bit or whatever you need to do but just keep it a little bit more extended press the heels towards the floor take the thighs back one more moment. Good. And then we're going to come down onto hands and knees. You know, take it to the child's pose. The knees are going to go wide, big toes tight, and you have your blocks. You might put a block underneath your head. It can go any height. Be in a comfortable place. So you know, do what you need to do to make it comfortable. And then once you're settled, if it works for you to extend your arms. We're going to do that. And so we're breathing towards the sides of the body. I'm resting my forehead on the block. Okay. And then if your arms are extended, feel your hands on the floor, spread the fingers, 
and lift the um, upper arms up. It's almost like you want your underarms to get a little bit more hollow and bigger. And then keep the arms up. Maybe you can slide the hands forward, go a little deeper. Keep that lifted. Turn the four, um, upper arms inwards to face each other. And you're going to feel the shoulder blades move. You might be able to extend a little bit more some way. One more moment. Great. And then to come out, we're just going to walk the hands back either side of the knees. I'm coming up to sit. I'm going to sit on the tops of the feet. You know the drill. If that's not your jam, this heart just flips itself <laughs> into cross-legged. Do what you need to do. If you're here with the, on the tops of the feet, I'm just going to take it a little deeper if that's there. I'll just lift the tush up. I'm going to bring the heels in towards each other a little bit more. And then I get more on the tops of the feet. Then I sit on the heels and they actually tuck, plug into the sit bones. This is a lot. So you just, wherever you are, just wherever you are on the path, take one more breath. Okay, however you're sitting, friends. And palms together. Interlace the fingers, flip the palms. We're going to reach up. And we're just going to find all of that same idea of not, you know, if you feel like you're I'm just bringing my heart and my belly forward in an exaggerated um, bend here. But I'm going to bring everything back. So the belly comes in, the ribs in, and I can extend up from there. I might even grip the fingers on the backs of the hands and pull the arms apart. And look up for one more breath. Good, exhale and release. I'm gonna come back to downward facing dog. Blocks or no blocks. Maybe I'm gonna take the blocks out for this one. And it could also be a forearm dog if that's better for you. Just about stretching the backs of the legs a little bit. I'm gonna walk the feet back a little bit more in this dog. Now we're gonna bend the right knee a lot. So the right heel lifts, press the left heel to the floor and you're gonna press right from your tush as if you can, or your sit bones, let me get very specific. Sit bones, you're going to push back and then anchor them down. My strong arms. You could do this on your hands and knees too, a little bit. It's different, but you can get it. Okay, change feet. So we're going to deeply bend the left knee, lift the left heel, press the right heel to the floor. And then from the sit bones, I'm going to push them back and then down, almost like drawing the little belly in a little bit. Okay, one more moment. Good. Okay, we're gonna bring ourselves maybe into plank or you can come onto your knees and take a little plank. I'm just gonna hang out in plank for a few moments. You can see I'm gonna drop my tush and my shoulders are in line. I might wiggle the feet back, press the hands down, smile. Good. Okay, I'm gonna lower all the way down, knees first, chest first. I'm all the way down, um, palm over palm. Tuck your chin, widen your legs a little bit, turn the heels away from each other, toes in towards each other. They're not touching though. And then just breathe. You feel your beating heart. Feel your breath. And one more moment. And then from here with your head down, you might change the Placement of the hands, the opposite hand is on top now. And then bend your knees and widen your thighs if you need to. We're just gonna drop the feet away from each other. So the knees stay on the floor and it's like your feet are moving in the opposite. I'm just gonna breathe. Allow anything to settle to the earth. And you can stay with your head down or you make your way up onto your forearms. So you might straighten the legs and then do that again. The feet might start to come in a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna move the shoulders back and anchor from the shoulders to the elbows and then start to release the head. I still have the legs bent. You might bring the soles of the feet together or we'll stretch your legs out. Just breathe here. Okay, draw your belly in a little bit and you'll feel almost like the low back lengthens. Good. Okay, one more breath. 
I'm gonna keep the feet as they are, lower yourself all the way down, rest. So with your forehead on your hands, I'm just gonna separate the feet and just rock the feet now over to one side, to this windshield wiper thing here, just moving from side to side. So we're rolling over the thighs, hips. Okay, and then we're gonna move this into an egg beater. So you can bring your thighs to settle and then just start to find this egg beater motion of one, Shin, one foot circulating, and then the other. You know what an eater does. Okay, and then just reverse that once you kind of got that motion of your ocean, and really feel. You know the hips are moving. Low back. You can exaggerate anything with maybe adding a little extra sway into your hips. Good. Okay, let's go the first way again, just for brain function. And then we'll switch again. Good. Okay. And then come back to soles of the feet touching. Okay. Take a full breath in. Breathe out. So we're going to come back to Sphinx. If you need to straighten your legs, then you do that. Okay. So you're back in Sphinx. Shoulders back. I take the belly in to just lengthen the low back, release the head. Move the shoulders away from the ears. Drop the jaw. In a moment. And keep the legs as they are. Lower yourself all the way down. Okay, separate your feet. Uh, I'm going to bring the hands right underneath the shoulders. I'm just going to adjust the camera angle. We're going to come into like cobra, a dancing cobra, where we're going to move the feet. So. Just move All right, so from here, you start to lift yourself up into cobra, and you decide if it's too much, you know, forearms go back on the floor. So as you come up, you're going to roll the feet over to one side, and let that side body come down, and take the opposite leg, and just maybe tap the floor, and come on back. So both knees, thighs to the floor, nice and wide. Lift yourself up into cobra. Roll over to one side and you let yourself come down. Let everything happen. That other leg comes over, taps, and you come back. And so you make this, you know, if you don't want to lift up, you don't. Just find a way to roll and move yourself. The lifting is just going to give you a little more shoulder flossing, but it's all fine to be low. You don't even need to lift your chest up and just move the feet. Okay, let's do maybe two more, whatever height you like and then once you come down we're just going to rest this time we'll separate the legs straighten them out bring your head to the forehead to the floor change the placement of the hands the opposite hand is on the top and then really do nothing just breathe yes so good okay and then from here, you just take your hands, place them somewhere where you can press yourself up to your hands and your knees. I'm just going to place my knees on the blanket. Exhale to your child's pose. And as you get there, maybe the hands will walk forward. You know, you'd be in your own place. Here, the knees are apart. I'm really thinking about getting some space into the back. So fingertips on the floor and literally claw the floor. Get longer through your arms. And then rest into that place where you start to feel lengthening in your low back. If we were in studio, this might, you guys may have done this with me, and maybe you loved it, maybe you hated it, but where somebody sits on your sacrum. So you might just imagine someone sitting on your sacrum, anchoring it. Okay. So stay here. We're going to dance our way to hands and knees, and we're going to do that through the cow pose. Wait, yes, cow with the belly lifting up, mid back lifting up. So stay here. On your next inhale, as you begin to inhale, lift yourself up. Let the head hang, curl the back up, press it up. Good. And then exhale, release into the cow, cow pose, cat pose, <laughs> you know, the opposite. And just really feel this is a dance of your breath. 
So just do this a few times. I still have the knees wide. You could bring them a little closer. Maybe there's a forward and back motion in this little dance. Just feel for yourself. And eventually I'm, I'm moving forward to back. So the wrists are getting a little bit of something, a little bit of tush. And at some point here, next time I come through um, with the belly dropping, I'm actually gonna move into a bit of a um, cobra. So that might work for you. And then you drop the head. That's gonna help you take it back. And you might even go all the way back to south. So just be in, you know, whatever, happens here say oh can I take it all the way forward all the way back and you might be like oh no not today but maybe today's the day we'll just go to your own place here and when you've had enough then you either rest in your child's pose or you know downward dog or even sitting if you prefer that so I'm just going to do oh maybe last one and just feel whatever's happening it's movement. Okay, I'm going to rest in the child's pose. And this time we'll take the arms back. So the palms are facing up. Wrists get a little bit of love. If you get the backs of the hands to the floor nicely, maybe your forehead rests on the floor, maybe not. Keep the back of your wrist on the floor and see if you can lift the palm fingers up so you almost get a little bit of wrist stretch. And I'll just lift and lower the hands a few times without lifting the wrist. And release whatever you need here. This is your rest. Okay. Hands to the floor, either side of your knees, and bring yourself up. And then we're just going to sit. So I'm going to sit in Vajrasana. If you're going to cross legged, go to the opposite cross. Just be here. Settle your breath. You know, did you love that? Is that interesting? Is it? excruciating and just smile into whatever your response is. Okay, so from here, I'm just gonna lengthen. I'm gonna once again, bring the heels closer just because I can and I get those little sit bones in there. Whatever you're doing, palms together, opposite interlace, flip the palms, reach up, be in your breath here. Okay, I have anchored the legs. So I'm squeezing the thighs together, pressing the tops of the feet down, and then drawing everything that needs to come back in my body. I know that's what needs to happen. And then breathe. You know, if you're not as flexible, you probably don't need that. And like, it's a great gift. Good. And then exhale, release your hands. Good. I'm going to stretch the legs out so you just sit, sweep them out. Okay, so I have this blanket here. Hopefully you do too. If you need higher height, just fold it. We're just going to be here with the legs stretched just for a moment. And that might be bent knees for you. So heels on the floor, find the lift. And imagine once you're here, let's come back to visualizing. So once you're here, then you feel you're anchored in some way, but not too hard, not too soft. Start to take your powers of observation to your sit bones. And notice one side taking more weight than the other. And this time, you know, that might not be a case of just shifting over to one side. You might even need to move your ribs over to one side. If you know you have scoliosis, then you know that might be what you need. So you just kind of play with the rib movement. So you feel a little anchored. And here's the other thing that happens. Once the sit bones are anchored, the thighs can relax a little bit. Okay, feel your heels are equal to be weighted. Okay, we're gonna lift the arms up. So if that's no good for your back, just keep your hands on the floor. So let's inhale, reach up. And I'm just gonna be here in the movement of the breath. Soften your gaze. Yeah, even if you're looking up or looking down, whatever it is, keep the gaze soft when you breath. Good. And then release your arms out to the sides, back down to the floor. I'm just going to walk the hands nice and slow into this. Okay, so you're really feeling, oh, what's happening in my back as I do this? Where is the back going to be? 
stretching, but not unhappy. Start to let your head go too, if you can. Eyes closed, jaw can release. See with your breath. If your feet want to flop, let that come in. That's sometimes we need that little bit of space for the hips. Really be in this. You know, it's a space of deep consciousness. And we did this pose a couple times already standing. It's very different here. Coming back once you're feeling I'm in the space, just look for balance underneath you. And then noticing one shoulder might be more tense than the other. Explore for a few more breaths. Maybe imagining. If you're in class and the teacher comes over and just lightly places her hand at the back of your heart as a reminder to soften here. Just allow yourself to be really heavy. So as you exhale, just maybe sigh it out and let the head go a little more and then come that deep heaviness. Bringing your hands maybe either side of your hips, lifting the shoulders, and then lifting yourself up. And as you come all the way up, we're just going to take the hands behind. Just lean on your hands for a moment. Just let everything come back. And okay, we're going to do windshield wiper again here. So you'll bend your knees. When I have my fingers pointing, you can put your hands however you need. Open your chest. So. You're going to lift it. Your feet can go out wide, you know, maybe someplace you've never, oh, let's try this. We've never done this. Let's take the left foot forward a little bit and the right foot forward in a little bit. So they're asymmetrical after all this talk of balance. And we'll inhale and exhale, drop them over to the right first. And just feel there for a moment or two. You can pull the left shoulder back. And let the sideways drop. And then as you come up, feel the hands anchor, feet come up, breath up, and exhale them over to the left side. And pull the right shoulder back, look over the right shoulder, be with your breath. And then let's keep the feet as they are, bring yourself back to center, and just go side to side a few times. Okay. I think a few is three. So after your third, Oh, I should change the hands too. Okay, come back, change the feet. Yeah, we'll just keep the hands as they are. Save that for another time. Inhale, then exhale over to the left. And pull the right shoulder back. Let's hang out here. Let the right side waist even fall. So if you imagine yourself doing, you know, cow pose here a little bit more than cat. Okay, inhale. Bring it up and exhale over to the right, left shoulder back. Soften your face. Good. Okay, and then we'll just side to side several times. Feel the shoulders if they want to go. Again, the wrists are getting some love. So if you're used to talking to, you know, you're probably not alone. Okay, and then we're just gonna come up, peel the wrists off, just give your hands a little shake. Yes, and then we'll come here, I'm gonna interlace the fingers, and just drop back. Maybe your knees are gonna come together, you might widen your heels a little bit more than the toes. Oh, well, I have the hands here on top of the shins, but no, no, that's not so good. I was gonna say behind the thighs, but no. You drop your chin, take your, think. <clears throat> Cat pose, so you're arching your back. You can drop your shoulders a little bit. And then inhale, pull yourself up. Okay, I'm not gonna change the interlace of the fingers. Just take the hands out, bring them down. Let's drop into Baddha Konasana for a moment. Good, okay, just be here. Even if your knees are way up, you know, find your place. Okay, I'm gonna come back onto the forearms. Duke, duke. 
And I'm going to keep the knees lifted, even though, you know, I can get them down. I'm going to keep them lifted. Press the soles of the feet together. You can bring your hands. If you like to pop your fingers underneath the hips here, do that. And then we're just going to rock side to side. So that way, you know, you can keep the knees a little closer together. You'll find a little dance that works for you. And the next time the knees go over to the right, let's take the left knee on top. Or if that doesn't work, you know, you just find your place. Good. And then bring yourself back through center and over to the left, right knee maybe on top. And then come all the way up. Okay, let's go cross-legged for a moment. Just pause. Okay, right, we're gonna forward fold here. So you have your blocks hopefully still handy. And that might be a nice thing to support your head. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Okay, I'm gonna cross these legs at the center shin and I really flex the feet. You prop up. If you need to more props, you know, I haven't shown you guys this one for a long time. But if you're someone who's not comfortable sitting this way, you take your blanket. I just folded it so quick, nothing fancy. I'm gonna lift up and just tuck it underneath. Just wrap it around, the you know, and then you get a little bit more support. If, if you need that, you can take that. Okay, just maybe take your hands and pull that buttock flesh out of the way. And we'll just be here for one moment in the upright. And then as you exhale, just walk yourself into your fold and use the block if it works to support your head. You know, I have it on the highest height, but I know I can go lowest height. I'm going to do that. And, you know, if that, all that instruction of the blanket and the crossing of the legs, if that is inhibiting this, then you take it out. You know, the fact that we're just folding forward and hopefully resting the forehead is a way of softening the mind space. Is That is the essence of what we're looking for here. Is the way of softening through the jaw, back of the heart, <clears throat> shoulders. So you're just offering your body this shape. The more you can release and soften and find some type of contentment, then the body becomes content and will fill in the space with the stuff you want to be moving around within you. We want stagnancy, we don't want dis-ease, discomfort, okay, all of, all of that stuff. But here, invite in your vitality, just in the gentle flow of your breath, and then softening any place you're holding your attention. Noticing if your body is telling you it's time to come out. And if it's saying that, then just try your best. Stay in. Two more breaths. But noticing that, you know, when the body's talking to you, is all that place of connection. And help. And then again, very lovingly, friends, you just walk your hands to a place where you can press yourself up. And once you get here, you can stretch your legs out. If you want to take your hands back again and just rest here, that's fine, or stay upright. Just be in the stillness and the quiet. Wiggle your feet as much as you need, your ankles, and then we'll go to our opposite cross, which is you know always kind of interesting. So for most of you, it will be left leg on top, unless you are left-handed, then you probably did that first. And then add in whatever props you need. Take a moment and just the sit. And so again, I'm crossing center shins. I have my feet are active as support. It's the base. But if your feet are happier, relaxed, then you know, so be. Okay, so one nice big breath in. And then exhale and move into forward fold. You know, with distant placement of the hips is going to allow you to move into it differently. So take your time. 
Pop up as you need. You have two blocks there. You can always pile them in on top of the other. Just dropping into your own spaciousness, softness. Behind your heart, your jaw, your third eye. And some of the tension in the shoulders you're still holding. All the way down through the back, down to the hips, legs, and the soles of the feet. Creating space in this compact pose is the medicine. Just deeply releasing the next few breaths. What if this was Shavasana? And then again, as you feel ready, just bringing yourself up and again, straightening the legs. Letting the release happen, but also feeling what's happened in the mind, the body, the eyes. All right, give yourselves a little wiggle, guys, and we're gonna find our bolsters, your two blocks. And um, let's see, I'm gonna keep this blanket. You might wanna keep it handy. You could keep it where it is, or if you want one for your head, you might just kind of have it. I'm not gonna use it all the time, but you'll just have it there. Okay, so let's start with the bolster in just a little bit more, less than halfway down the mat. And it's uh, lengthwise. No, horizontal. horizontal. Okay, now you might have one block for your head. I'm just going to leave it here on the side. And if I want it for my head, it'll be there. And one block is definitely going to go underneath the sacrum. So that's going to be about, uh, what's that, maybe two inches. So I'll just get in first and you can kind of see. So I'll just perch on the block. I've got the sacrum on the block. I'm going to come down and I want to have this bolster underneath the heart. So I get the head down. And then once you're down, you know, if you want to bring the block closer to the bolster or further away, you'll, you'll figure that out. So this blanket I have here is not serving any purpose. <laughs> so if you like it, that's fine. Okay. And then we're all going to feel a little differently here. So find a place where you can feel, oh, I'm going to get a nice opening, but I feel supported. Again, I'll just show if you want to put the block under your head, that is A-OK. -okay. That might be what you need. And so you'll just play with the blocks, the bolster. Okay, and then once you're in, you can separate the feet wide, bring the knees together if you like, or stretch your legs out, whichever one. And then you can just let your feet flop. Okay, hopefully it feels very comfortable. If it doesn't, you take the time to adjust. Take hard stand. Good. Okay, that's what it's about. Yeah. All right. Let's so give you some time to get yourself situated. So we have this lift of the sacrum, hip flexors getting a little bit of, if you have the legs straight, if you have them bent, it's all fine. The back is getting what it needs. And then I want you to feel like the tops of your, or the top back of your shoulders or the, the, the shoulder Tops are just sloping towards the floor. So I still have this block under my head. That's pretty awesome. So I'm going to take it out. I'm going to just get a little more thyroid action here as the chin comes in towards the chest. 
where the chest moves towards the chin. Not pulling anything. Just release yourself here. Melt into the bolster. Allowing all that work we've done already to open the back, sides of the body. Okay, so I'm going to change this in a moment, but if you want to take your arms and just reach them above your head. If your legs are stretched, you can straight, um, you know, flex your feet, lengthen, and then we're going to bend the knees. And the feet will come to the floor, adjust your props as you need to, so that you feel stable here. Okay, now the one under the head might become a bit of a hindrance, but actually I'll put it there and do that, so I know, I know for sure. Okay, separate your feet. We're going to move into windshield wiper. We have this block here, so there's only so far we can go. So just nice and slow. Maybe take your feet a little wider than you normally do. Just rock very gently over the whole over the block. Good. Okay. And then bring your knees back. We're gonna heel toe the feet right together. And then exhale, drop the knees over to the right. Yeah, hope maybe it'll come all the way down, maybe not. You can adjust yourself on your block, like move yourself back. I'm going to take the left leg and just sweep it over this right until you start to feel something. You're going to know where you need to stop. And you're just going to breathe here. Good. Okay, head up. The block under the head is just fine. Okay, and then gently find your way back if you've got that block. So you're going to readjust, take your time, find your center. Okay, so then the feet come together. You're going to drop the feet or the knees over to the left. At any time, you just pick your hips up, adjust. And then once you're there, let that right leg now move around over the left if that's going to work. Okay, notice where the block is pressing in or where it's supporting you. Maybe that feels great. I say that because for me right now, it feels pretty great. Okay, one more breath. And then again, very slowly, maneuver yourself back. So you're taking care. Come back, adjust whatever you need. <clears throat> Good. Okay, heel toe your feet a little bit wider. Let's say hip distance. And then exhale, drop the knees to the right. We're gonna do the same thing. So whatever works, take the left leg over. If your hips need to go more on the block. Just go, you go wherever you need to go. You're gonna know. Smile and breathe, soften. Good. And then make your way back. Okay, one full breath in and out. Once you get back, maybe it's even relief. Oh, I need back. Okay, then the feet are hip distance apart again. Drop your knees to the left, adjust the hips if you need to, and then sweep the right leg around and find whatever is happening. Okay, one nice big breath in, smile, and then lovingly find your way back onto your back. Okay, I'm going to take the block out from the sacrum, and that might mean that the dip becomes too much for you. So walk under your head is going to, it's going to minimize that. And moving yourself around on the bolster so you find the place that, you know, feels the best. You might wiggle yourself forward a little bit, and the bolster might be more under on the sides of the waist and the mid-back. Okay, so, but find that place. Maybe the legs are going to stretch out, maybe not. Breathe here, wherever you are, you have supports underneath you that are making a change in something. Good, okay, let's just take a nice big breath in, sigh it out. Okay, okay. you bend the knees, feet to the floor, you decide how wide they go, how close together, when we come back to this windshield wiper, and now that you don't have the block, hopefully this feels very nice and free. Good. Okay, drop the knees over to the right. Now we're going to keep the right knee where it is. 
So it's going to sweep the left leg up and over, and you're going to know where you're going to go. Maybe it's going to go straight. Maybe not. Maybe this right leg is going to just, the thigh is going to go more parallel to the long side of your mat. Okay, block under your head if you like it. Great. If not, it's fine. Great. Okay, I'm just going to one more moment here. I'm going to take the left arm, just reach it over the head. Good. Okay, and then lovingly find your way back. And take your time, come back onto your back, adjust, whatever shifted, realign, redefine, and then find your distance. Exhale, knees over to the left. When you're here and the right leg's going to sweep around and over, find its place. Might not be the same you did on the other side. You're getting a twist here. You know, everything's happening. The left thigh might move more parallel to the long side of your mat, so it might move back. And then breathe. Feel this first hitting everything I need right now. Good. Okay, I'm going to take the right arm, just reach it over the head, get a little bit of length. And then bathe with the breath. All the inner stuff. What can you soften here, guys? Okay. <laughs> Release. Okay, I know that's a big one. Okay. All right. I'm going to wiggle myself back now. So maybe forearms on the bolster. Wiggle back, wiggle back, wiggle back. Rest your head on the bolster. So the whole back is on the floor. Hopefully you had space there to do that. I'm just going to take a breath or two here. Well, I have one more I really want to do. So I know right now this class is going to be five minutes longer. <laughs> and if that, if, if you have to leave, I understand. But okay, I'm going to make it worth your while. Drop your knees to the one side, roll yourself over, press yourself up. And, oh, that should just like, woo. <laughs> that size now. We got all those organs now are like, woo. I'm like swimming like fishies. Okay, here's the next one. I'm going to use blocks. Um, and put the bolster on top, and that's just going to make it higher and more uncomfortable. <laughs> so if you don't like that, you just put your bolster down. And you can always put a blanket on top if you want more height. We're going to lie on the side like we do. So I just take, you know, I'm coming right up and close. I lengthen, take the whole side. I'm coming. There we go. So I'll say that again. I have the blocks under the bolster. That's going to give me a big height when we move into the fullness of this pose. You could just have bolster. Okay, so rest your head on your hands. There's that little, you know, use the fingers, just hold the crown of the head, get a little wrist. Here, your other hand could be resting on your bolster. We'll just start with a little bit of side to side just to kind of massage the part that is resting. And you can start to rest your gaze. And then we're gonna settle in full pose. So as you're ready, friends, you know, you might extend your arm. Head might go down, you might even prop your head. I just grabbed this blanket I had here and the other arm's gonna come over. And then the leg, this top leg is gonna straighten. The bottom leg could stay bent. It might move back a little bit so my knees are together, but it doesn't matter. This is about opening the whole left side. Okay, so I just noticed for myself that I have the body kind of tucked forward. I'm just taking the arms back, head back, I'm even going to just roll the roll a little bit of my um, let's say what's this let's say the upper left side more to the left to the back. And just find your leg. You can press out through your leg. You can extend your arm. You might even take that bottom hand, the right hand, grab the left wrist and give it a little pull. Find your contentment. Good. Okay, we're going to release. Just roll onto your tummy. And I'm going to even adjust the tummy. So I just lift it up. I have like the bottom of my hip bones or the bottom of the bolster. And here's, this is all the prep workers for this. So you might come into this supported cobra. And, you know, that's all good. We're going to start to drop down. So as you move on to the forearms, here's where the forearms becomes, um, I'm going to say the more, I, I, not the word difficult, but you feel more pressure into the tummy. And then if you come all the way down, rest your head, just like we did in practice at the beginning of this class, seems like so long ago now. Let your 
heel squat out. So if you're in the lie down, you're sending that breath into your back body. You're allowing everything to just drape over the bolster and you're looking for that softness. So whatever shape you're in, close your eyes. If that helps you to bring your awareness more deeply to where you look without seeing it. Okay, so we're here for about another five breaths or so. I'm just going to take a little child's pose interlude before we do the other side. Just come back. You might even just rest your forehead on this little bolster and just let the back lengthen and come back. And then we're going to go right to the other side. And whenever you're ready, I'm just going to flip myself around. So facing you. And then you just find whatever works. You take your time. Yes, child's pose. I get it. It feels so good here. So there's no rush, nowhere to go except where we're going. And you're gonna take your time. Once you get there, like, we'll do this little bit of rocking. And that's also gonna help you find that place in your space. Okay. And then you can either stay here with the fingers holding your head, the wrist getting a little bit, close your eyes, and then lengthen yourself, top arm comes over. And maybe the top leg is going to get straight. And then notice if you're curling in towards your chest. Imagine yourself <coughs> pardon me, nice and long. And if you like, you can take the left hand, grab the right wrist, give it a little pull. Press out through the leg. And breathe as deep as you can. Like you're filling the space on offer. Melt yourself. Come out. And you know, if you want to lie on your tummy again, if you love that, then take it again. And if you want to just come up and take child's pose, to take that again. Because here we are in that space, I want to say it's a magical place, right before Shavasana, where you can kind of, oh, it would feel really good for me right now. Good. Ready. I'm set up for a sweet shavasana. I'm going to just take one of the that blanket that I was had a little in that, put it in the back for the head, and then this little bolster thing I have here. I'm just going to keep it as it is, just to push it forward and rest the calves on there. So suit up. Meaning, keep this body nice and warm. Let's hold the heels. yourself warm, covering your eyes.
deeply to yourself or deeply anywhere that you're still holding tension. Drop deeply into your breath. We started with the elements of nature, just feeling the element of earth within you, the heaviness of you, the density, the matter. We release it, let it be heavy. As we feel into the lightness of all that you are and the gentle movement of your breath, the energy above you. Staying in your sacred rest for as long as you are able. We're beginning to invite in very gentle movement, so we make it a really slow and immersion. So that you feel yourself moving very gently, micro movements. Until it's time to bend your knees. And you can stretch your arms over your head if you like. And whenever it's time, the knees will maybe come into the chest. Or that might offer you a little bit of massage for your back. Just whenever you feel ready. We will roll to the side and again just resting there for at least three breaths. Just feel again the density, the heaviness, everything just fall back to the floor. Whenever you're ready, friends, we just meet and see them. That's the way it is. in your sacred energy. So you're not rushing to get anywhere because there's nowhere to go. And once you do come to sitting, I'm just going to change to opposite cross of the legs. My non-habitual space here. And then you might, in your mind's eye, just feel yourself in the yoga studio, surrounded by truly the best people, by this very good energy emitting from everybody's yoga mat and people who have engaged in their own healing and wellness with an open heart. Just breathe that in. And remind yourself that you are an important member of this community. And as you inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, bring your palms together in front of your heart and bow your chin as you honor yourself and all those we practice with. And we honor the teachers and the teacher's teachers. And to that, friends, we'll Seal this practice with our May We Be Blessed mantra and one ohm. Inhale yourself tall, lift your chin. Exhale this breath completely and inhale. May we be blessed with loving kindness. May we be well. May we be peaceful and at ease. May we be healthy and may we be happy. Seal that with an ohm, inhale. Oh. Bowing your chin, I'm Shanti, I'm peace, I'm Namaste. Take a full breath in, breathe into your hands. Oh. 
catch that sacred energy with your chin, with your mouth as an offer this to yourself. You put your own oxygen mask on first and then we'll send it out. Yeah, it's been amazing because all of that you bring in. Take it in, that's yours, yes. Mm -hmm. And so much love, so much gratitude, so much honoring. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great rest of your day, guys. See you very soon. Bye, everybody.